Greetings everyone. Welcome to Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works. This is Aisha, your Tuesday vlogger. And uh, we have another um, layered question this week dealing with foods that we enjoy now. Okay. Um, I think it's about three layers to it. So let me, let me get into it. And I brought along some more show and tell. <laughs> um, are there any foods that you enjoy now post-op that you never ate or enjoyed pre-op? Uh, or any foods you eat more now than ever? What are those foods? And are there any foods that you 100% do not eat? <laughs> um, I'm going to start on the bottom, okay? Are there any foods that you 100% do not eat? Uh, I am 23 months post-op R&Y and uh, have carried a philosophy that said um, I don't want my post-op food life to look like my pre-op food life. And as I have traveled through this journey, um, I have created sort of a box uh, if you will, in terms of what I will and will not eat. Um, as the months go by, the box expands a little. But for a 100% do not eat, uh, 23 months and counting, I'm, I'm going to name just a few things that uh, I have uh, no interest in going back to. Um, and there are more things on that list, uh, but they are set with boundaries. But for the 100% list, um, anything made out of a white potato, uh, so I don't eat mashed potatoes, baked potatoes, french fries, potato chips, uh, anything that is made from a white potato, and then uh, anything made by a company called Hostess. <laughs> Uh, I was a big Suzy Q fan and uh, the cherry pie and the apple pie and the lemon pie. So anything made by Hostess, I do not eat. And I do not eat uh, candy bars. Um, I have, you know, already a problem with sugar as an R&Y person, but I have no interest in bringing those things close to me that were really part of my downfall um, when I was dealing with obesity. A huge Reese cup, Twix, Snicker, peanut M&M's, peanut butter M&M's, um, fan. And uh, I refuse. And I know that they have sugar-free Reese cups. Uh, I refuse. I am a sugar-free chocolate person, so I will get some Hershey's dark sugar-free. They make a caramel sugar-free. Um, and some of the other brands, Godiva makes a good sugar-free chocolate, uh, so does C's, as well as some at Trader Joe. Um, so I will get some sugar-free chocolate. I have since I was six weeks post-op, but there are specific brands, as I just named, that uh, I refuse to have anything to do with anymore uh, in this life, as long as I can help it. And so um, that's my answer for the 100% list. Um, and so... The next question is, and we'll go back to the top, are there any foods that you enjoy now post-op that you never ate or enjoyed pre-op, or any foods you eat more now than ever? So I'm going to just let those two questions sort of be combined. I brought along a few things that really have been in my life post-op that really weren't a part of my life pre-op and uh, I'll show those to you guys. One of the things uh, that's in my life now is uh, some of the Splenda or sucralose sweetened water enhancers. Uh, I never needed any of this pre-op. Post-op I found that there were times when I needed to take the edge off of the water. Sometimes my pouch didn't want just plain water. Sometimes it still doesn't want just plain water. Uh, and so I'll sweeten it with some of the super low sweeten sweeteners. This happens to be probably at my top of the list right now, this lemonade version of the Mio or Mayo. But uh, I like brutally cold water, 
and I like to put this lemonade in it. So that's new and different because, uh, like I said, I didn't need those kinds of things pre-op. And then um, Tarani Sugar-Free Syrup. <laughs> this is one of my 13 bottles that I have. I had 17 up until they began to expire. Um, you can check the expiration date on the bottle neck. The first four digits are um, indicators of how old the bottle is, and according to Tarani, they have a two-year shelf life. So I recently lost four bottles, but this is just one chocolate. Uh, so this is something that was not a part of my pre-op life. It is certainly part of my post-op life. I put them, uh, based on the flavor, in protein shakes, as well as uh, plain Greek yogurt. And so here is my brand of choice of uh, Greek yogurt, plain non-fat Chobani is my brand of choice at the moment. Um, I went through my phase with Faye. I've done some of the Danins, uh, the Danin Greek, the Vicos, I think I'm pronouncing it correctly. But uh, as it stands now, Chobani plain is my brand. And this was not part of my pre-op life. And there is probably never a time where my refrigerator doesn't have a tub or two of this in it. I love it. Um, it's a great snack. It's a great um, sort of soother in terms of it's creamy and you want maybe creamy um, texture. It's great for that. Um, but again, there's a lot of great brands out there of plain Greek yogurt. So that is part of my arsenal. And then something that uh, I just can't live without. I, I don't even know when was the last time there was not a tub. Um, of Dutch chocolate isopure on my counter. This is by far my favorite protein powder. Um, I put chocolate tarani in, I put strawberry tarani in, I put salted caramel, or I just, you know, had it plain with, uh, now I'm doing ice cold water, I was doing it with soy milk. But um, this is certainly a part of my life and my lifestyle now that wasn't. And um, if I don't drink anything else in terms of a protein powder, you can always find me with some isopure Dutch chocolate. And then something that happened to me post-op that uh, is new, that wasn't really a part of my life as a pre-op person, is having things that are spicy. I mean, always, you I could open my refrigerator and you will find this brand of pepper rings at any time now that I can have spicy on a menu or, um, you know, put this on my plate, I will put some of these on my plate or in my salad. I just love spicy. I don't know what this R&Y <laughs> did to me, but uh, I wasn't necessarily a big spicy person pre-op, but now um, my peppers, sriracha, uh, the sauce. Um, I find myself now putting Tabasco sauce on my scrambled eggs with cheese. I, I don't know where that, you know, has come from. Uh, I keep hot sauce in the house now. Those are things I just, it just wasn't part of uh, my repertoire uh, as a pre-op person. And so I am a believer that, you know, weight loss surgery does change our taste. Um, some of the tastes come full circle. You know, there were things that perhaps I didn't care for in the early days that now um, I'm okay with. There were um, things that I couldn't tolerate in the early days as a post-op person in terms of my digestion or how my body reacted from a sugar standpoint that you know now I can tolerate. But um, those, are, those are some of my, uh, my favorites that really weren't a part of my life and now they are and I can't even imagine that some of these things wouldn't be around. Um, probably if I could only have, you know, two or three Tarani syrups, uh, I would definitely have strawberry, chocolate, vanilla, and um, maybe the salted caramel or the black cherry if I had to narrow it down. But there are a lot of great flavors. The peanut butter Tarani, sugar-free Tarani is great. Um, people, if you don't know about Tarani Serbs, you can go to their website and uh, there is a smorgasbord of choices um, that you can pick from and they deliver really quickly and safely as well. 
But uh, that's it. That's the answer to the question from me this week. If you are more interested in uh, learning about my story and some of the other foods that I ate along the weight loss portion of my journey, you can find those on my channel, Grell and Be Gone, here on YouTube, and I will put the uh, spelling of that in the bar below. Uh, you can also check me out on Facebook as Asia Grellenby Gone YT. And uh, I have pictures posted of foods I've eaten along the way and some of my favorite foods, um, some of my favorite little salads that I make um, that are easy and quick and full of protein. But uh, that's it, you guys. Uh, I will sign off here, and you all have a great rest of the day. Bye-bye.